It's time for Football Friday Night on CBS4. I'm Jojo Gentry. It was a rainy, cold night for sectionals to kick off, but the competition was hot. Ranked fourth in Class 4A, Ron Colley's had a pretty impressive season. Their lone loss is to 3A favorite Bishop Chittard. Ron Colley up 38-6 with about seven seconds until halftime. Quarterback Caden Gore throws a beauty to the end zone where Cole Beckman is there for the catch, and it's a 45-6 game at the break. Third quarter now, Attics trying, but a bad toss leads to a Ron Colley interception in the Rebels' own red zone. And they finish the job on third and one with the QB keeper, courtesy of backup George Martin. They go up 52 to six, and that would be the final score as Ron Colley advances in sectionals. To Greenfield Central, where Pendleton pays a visit tonight. Picking it up later, it's 28 zip Pendleton. Greenfield Central with a lot of work to do. First play from scrimmage in the second half. Cougars fumble, and it's recovered by Connor Huffman. Pendleton setting up shop at a good spot. Luke Bays here taking this down all the way to the one yard line, and that leads up to the very next play. Caden McLean here goes into the end zone to make it 35 0 Arabians. Pendleton wins tonight 42 6. At Beach Grove, where the Hornets host Short Ridge. First play of the game, Short Ridge ball. Blue Devils on the run, but it's dropped, and Beach Grove picks up the fumble recovery. Now to the second play of the game. Hornets on the ground. Damon Tompkins takes this to the house for the first score of the game. Extra point was no good. Beach Grove goes up 6 0. Beach Grove back with the ball moments later. This time it's Garrett Esposito going into the house for the touchdown. They go with the two point conversion, which is good, and take a 14 0 lead. Beach Grove wins in shutout fashion tonight, 61 to 0. And blustery conditions out in Liston as Tri West plays host to Indian Creek. Opening moments of the game. Garrett Cora corrals the pitch and scampers ahead for one of the few offensive highlights of this first quarter. Now the defense gets tough. Indian Creek's James Kelly wrestles and tosses Cora to the ground. And the Bruins return the favor. Ethan Dippinett stonewalls the ball carrier for a loss on the play. Try West. Follows that with this. Bryce Hendershot reaches out and strips the QB, recovers for the Bruins. Tri West wins 26 to 14. Next up, the Washington Continentals hosting Greencastle. Tiger Cubs ball first, drives straight downfield, and it's a handoff to Brock Carrington, who goes in for the touchdown. Two point conversion is good, 8 0. And so in kickoff, Logan Carrington. Squibs it, it dies. Greencastle falls on it though, and it's Tiger Cubs ball. Back on offense again. We'll see the handoff to Brock Carrington. Stopped in the backfield. Nope. This guy keeps pushing on, and he's going to get all the help into the end zone as Carrington falls in for six. Greencastle with the victory, 44 to zero. To Speedway, where the spark plugs host Western Boone. Speedway on offense. Screens out to Evan Owens, who gets hit and fumbles it here. But spark plugs do recover the ball. It's a pretty fortunate situation. Now, not all balls bounce their way. A slippery punt. This snap gets past the punter. From there, it's, we'll see eventually a handoff to Robbie Taylor as he falls sideways, kind of gracefully, for the touchdown. Western Boone wins 25-3 to to advance. Moving to Shenandoah in Hancock County at Eastern Hancock tonight. Royals early. We'll see Zach Arnold here taking that handoff and goes up nice 15 yards up for the game near the sideline. Horrible conditions tonight at Eastern Hancock, but it would be Shenandoah coming away with the victory 12 to 7. Heading west to Morgan County, it's a two way battle between Monrovia and Cascade. 0 0 to start the third quarter. Alex Shadoris off the tackle and hurdles a couple of Cascade defenders to move those sticks. Let's give the special teams a little love. Brayden Belcher gets the punt off and it's a dart as he hits it at the 15 and he's going to tumble to the five where Gavin Falwell is going to do the rest of the work. Still scoreless now moving the fourth. It's a Bad exchange for the Bulldogs, and the ball finds the turf, and Joe Nogle pounces on it for the Cadets. Cascade wins 6-0. to zero.